Good morning, or depending when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and I was always told I had a voice for radio, and today I am fairly delighted because we are going to be talking about a new Alolan Executor card. Now, we have spoken about Alolan Executor before. There has been an Alolan Executor GX, which has previously been revealed, and... It was kind of cool. I'd like the Lolan Executor GX. 20 damage times the amount of energy attached to this Pokemon to one of your opponent's Pokemon for one grass energy is pretty nice. And 180 damage and move all your energy around the field was kind of cool. And we had a Dragon Pokemon that used exclusively grass energy. Little bit weird, but we'll roll with it. Well, now we have a grass type Alolan Executor, which of course is much, much better as we'll get to in a moment. But we have our first non-GX Alolan Executor, and I believe that is something about which we can confidently get excited. So like I said, it is a grass Pokemon, that's quite nice. It does mean that you get access to things like the Promo Lorantis. Now I know the Promo Lorantis has not really seen a huge amount of play here or there, but it does mean you can do extra damage with it. And like we're going to see in a minute, you may need to add a little bit of damage here to really make this absolutely great. Does mean that you also can pair this quite easily with something like Golisopod, or you could even use it with Vikavolt for a little bit of energy acceleration which you won't really need with this but you know it's always nice and maybe you play it with tapu bulu and a little bit of vika vault you never know it could be a little bit fun 160 hp is actually very high it is higher than we would usually expect for a stage one pokemon i mean you see basic gx's like tapu lele end up having 170 so a non-gx stage one 160 hp yeah I, for one, can get excited by this. This is pretty gosh darn good. The weakness to fire is not ideal, because you've always got things like Volcanion, for instance, but the fact you've got 160 HP on a single prize Pokemon does help to mitigate that a little bit. And a retreat cost of three might be quite heavy, but then again, you've always got Heavy Ball. So again, a little bit sad, but not as bad as it could be. In terms of weakness, you've been a grass Pokemon are hitting weakness on Lycan Rock GX. It's about all you're hitting weakness on at the moment, but it's a good Pokemon on which to be hitting weakness. It is a Pokemon that's seeing quite a lot of play, and it won Leipzig Regional. So you know what? I can think of worse weaknesses to be hitting. Now, there's only one attack here. No ability, no second attack, just a single one attack. And it's a pretty gosh darn good one. One grass energy, 20 damage, plus 20 more for each type of basic energy in your discard pile, up to a maximum of five. So if you've got five different basic energy in your discard pile, then you're going to be hitting for 120 damage on a single energy. Now, to put this in context, Golisopod GX is a stage one grass Pokemon that hits 120 for a single energy. But only if you were on the bench and became active this turn, and if you get KO'd, you lose two prizes rather than one. We have shown that 120 is a pretty good amount of damage to hit. Although I should at this stage mention, as I have in a bunch of videos, there are a whole bunch of Pokemon like the aforementioned Volcanion that have 130 HP, which is annoying. And actually, one of the ones which does have 130 HP is Greninja, which we should probably add to the list of Pokemon that are weak to grass that you could be hitting through. High HP, hitting weakness for one energy on a Greninja. This, to me, seems like the kind of Pokemon that would absolutely wreck Greninja. Now, to be fair, it's coming out in Forbidden Light, which is coming out in May, which only gives you three months, ah, uh, four months, until Greninja actually rotates. But four months of wrecking Greninja is a lot better than zero months of wrecking Greninja. Now, one thing we do have to mention here, of course, is that getting five different types of basic energy in a discard could be a little bit annoying. Obviously, one of those types is going to be grass. If this attacked for colorless energy, I'd be all in favor, but it doesn't. It only attacks for grass energy. But then again, you could use this for your tech. So you could always play something like a Pow or a Corio, for instance, to help you search out those basic energy. Or until it's rotated, you could use something like Professor's Letter to help you search out this energy. Or even 
if you want to go for it, you could even use something like Rabombi here. Point being, there's plenty of Pokemon that can help you to search out your energy. Of course, you need to get them into the discard. That's where something like a Professor Sycamore or an Ultra Ball would come in. And the theory here, quite simply, is search out two basic energy, then discard them with Ultra Ball to search for a Pokemon, or just search out two or more basic energy, then play a Sycamore to get them into the discard. And the good news is that once they're in the discard, you're looking pretty good, to be perfectly honest with you. Once they're in the discard, it's hard for your opponent to get them out. Now, obviously, Lysander's trump card would have got them out of the discard, but that's been banned. Although I should mention here, the new Lysander Prism Star, now I did a video about that, I'll pop a link in the description, this actually allows you to count the number of fire Pokemon you've got on the field, and for every Pokemon you have on the field that is a fire type, you can take one card from your opponent's discard and put it into their lost zone, from which they cannot recover it. So actually, Lysander could be pretty devastating for Lolan Executor here, because it would basically mean you could take a lot of these one or two of energies, put them in the lost zone, and really hurt the damage output of a Lolan Executor. But that's only for fire Pokemon, and it's a once-per-deck kind of card that goes in the Lost Zone when it's been used. So you know what? It's not the biggest threat ever. It's annoying, but it's not the biggest threat ever. So now you end up in this situation where as long as you can get those five energy in there pretty quickly, which as we've seen, not the hardest thing to do, you're hitting 120 for a single energy. That's very nice. Now, if we look at the damage calculations here, you're falling a little bit short. Really, the three numbers you want to be hitting are 130 for stuff like Volcanion, 130 for Tapu Lele, and 210 for stuff like Zoroark. Now, you're hitting 120 here, so you'll get a bunch of Pokemon, but there will be some 130s you don't. If you had a choice band, you're then hitting 150, which I suppose means you're hitting Marshadow. But that's the only GX you're hitting. Little bit annoying. So then you're kind of in this awkward middle ground where you're not quite doing enough damage. Now, that's where Promo Lorantis that I mentioned earlier comes in. One Promo Lorantis with a choice band means you're doing 170. Now you're KOing a Tapu Lele. And everybody plays Tapu Lele. You could even use something like a Pokemon Catcher to kind of bring it into the active and KO it. Or you could play two of these, you're hitting 190, then you get a Boswell, three of these, 210, then you're getting Zoroark. And this, I think, is where we start to doubt Alolan Executor. Because on the one hand, I love it. 120 for one energy on a non-GX Pokemon is great. But on the other hand, you can't just tech it into a Vikavolt Tapu Bulu deck. Because you're not going to be playing five different types of basic energy, and you really need to be playing five different types of basic energy. So that really takes a Lolan Executor off the table as a tech, and really then puts it into the realm of it needs to be its own deck. But I suppose this is where you take this requirement for five different basic energy and use it to your advantage. Maybe you play a fire energy or two and you combine it with a Volcanion to give you a decent fire type attacker. Or maybe you play a water energy or two and you use it with the Caldeo from Shining Legends. Maybe you play a psychic energy or two and play it with Garboda that of course attacks for one psychic energy. And this is kind of where I see this coming in. I think this is a useful Pokemon but you need to build a deck around it. And it becomes a little bit of a toolbox deck. Bunch of different Pokemon, preferably attacking for one or two energy, hitting all the different types of weaknesses. And as an Alolan Executor with Garboda and a couple other things, this is a deck that could work. Is it going to be too inconsistent? I don't really know. But if you play a 1-1 one, one or 2-2 two, two Rabombi line, then all of a sudden I think you could be rolling with this. I really like this Alolan Executor. I'm only going to give it three Wossies because I'm, I'm slightly unsure about how good it's going to be. But this is definitely a deck you want to be testing over on PTCGO. It is a deck you want to keep in mind. It could end up being pretty gosh darn good. Maybe it will be, maybe it won't, but I really do think we need to have a look. And for that reason, I'm giving it free wassies, and I feel okay with this. But as always, ladies and gentlemen, 
I would love to hear what you think. Get your thoughts down in the comment section. Tell me if you think this is viable and tell me what Pokemon you think this could be paired with seeing as you're having to play all these different types of energy as well. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wossy, and some Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash ptcgradio. Do check out my video game channel Wossy Plays, and if you want to support the channel, go over to patreon.com slash ptcgradio. You get bonus podcasts for supporting there. What more could you want? But by far the most important thing as always is to look at after yourselves until next time. Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross and you've been watching PTCG Radio.